Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Princess Monet and today I'm back with another video. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a while but I wanted to recreate my birthday makeup. <sighs> the night is just not my night. It's not even a night. It's 3.26 in the morning. I should be sleeping. I don't know. I couldn't fall asleep. I'm like stressed. But scratch that. Like I said, I wanted to recreate my birthday look. The only difference is that I had straight hair. Hair was a little something like this. Except I use <laughs> I use my real hair. <sighs> Ew, forget it. Tear in my mouth. It was a little something like that. Like Nope, don't fall. Be nice, be nice, be nice. I wore this and I had my dress under, not a white shirt. I felt real like bougie and like real fancy with this jacket, which I'm totally obsessed with. It doesn't look as pink um on camera as it does in person. Mother, I literally can never do anything right. I just look down to look at my jacket and I just put my lipstick on my jacket. Good job. Anyway, if you guys would like to see this look, then keep watching. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to be using this Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I'm going to be placing that all over, and as you can tell, my face is super sensitive. It gets red, like, automatically, but it will go away. Okay, so right now, all I have is foundation. I don't have, like, anything covering my dark circles, nothing like that. I'm pretty much going to be covering my whole lid with the shade limit i'm gonna be like recreating or trying to recreate the look that i did on my birthday i don't remember exactly what i did because i was rushing but yeah um so this is gonna be my transitioning shade i freaking always wish that when i'm recording that i could have uh music going on but <sighs> copywriting issues will forever be like annoying so to save some time, I think I'm going to just do one eye on camera and then do the other one off camera. Next for my my freeze. Oh. Next for my crease, I'm going to be going in with the color Nooner. I didn't realize how shiny this color was, though. So it's kind of annoying. That wasn't what I was going for, but... Okay, actually, I wasn't feeling this color, so I'm going to try something darker, which is this color, and... That is called Factory. I'm going to be focusing more on the outer corner. Make that a little bit darker. And then blend it out very well. Um, in my inner corner. I'm going to be taking a clean brush. The 433. And I'm going to be blending that out. So I'm going to be going in with the color Burnout. Right below that crease. I'm not gonna lie, this Morphe 433 brush is really, really harsh on my eyes. I'm not sure if that's because I, like, uh, was really rubbing it to take off my makeup earlier, but I'm not really, like, feeling this brush. So this is what it's kind of looking like right now. Now I'm gonna be going in with my Tarte Concealer and doing, like, a little cut crease. I'm gonna be using my 432, and it looks like this. So I'm going to be going under the crease. And I'm not going to be worried about making it, um, too harsh over here and covering everything because I'm going to be blending out the colors that I use for my crease over here. Let me just um, dab this a little bit. To cover that, I'm going to be using the color Dust, which is so freaking pretty. Okay, I do remember that I didn't like how this wasn't pigmented enough and maybe it's because I should have used something like this. But I did go in with my Jaclyn Hill palette. I do remember going in with my Jaclyn Hill palette and taking this color right here. So it's like a very pretty pink shimmer. And I forgot I used that because it matched uh, more with my dress. So what I'm going to do is go over that part 
right here in the middle with this white. I'm going to be using the brush that comes with uh, the Naked palette. And I'm going to be using that pink shade, that shimmery pink pretty pretty shade. And packing that on right on top. Okay, now that's more like it. And I'm going to be going in back with the color factory. And blending it out like I did before. Just so it's not like a random like pop of shimmer, it's good. It has to blend out. Okay, much better. And then like later on when my concealer and everything else is on, I'm going to add some at the bottom. So right now, this is how it looks. Super pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, so now that both eyes are done, I'm going to be going in with the color Factory and placing that on right on my lower lash line. I always poke my eye when I do this part. It never fails. And my mouth is always like, which is how it goes. Transitioning shade, which was Limit, right here. And I'm going to be going and like right under that slash on top of it. Just so it's not like a random harsh darkness going on. Whatever, I'm going to be putting my lashes on and I'll be right back. Okay, so the eyelashes are on and they make a big difference. It's time to contour. I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to be contouring under here. And then I'm going to be carving on my cheeks with my stick my nyx stick but for right now let me put this bad boy on my chin under my eye to clean up this makeup a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my nose i made that a little bit crooked but whatever I'm going to be using the same brush that I did use for my foundation, and that is the Morphe 439. Now I'm going to be going in with my E47 brush and I'm going to be taking my NYX contour stick and just taking a little bit with this brush and I'm going to be placing it here. Okay, and going in with this R10 brush, I'm going to be taking my Milani bronzer and going right over um, where I contoured on my cheeks. So I'm only going to take it up to right here. I'm not going to go like all the way down like I used to. Um, I don't feel the need to do that anymore. I feel like... It looks um, better this way. I'm going to be going in with this M530 Morphe brush and using this Milani blush. So I'm going right over where I put the bronzer. Actually, no I am going to bake. I love to bake. Why can I talk today? I'm gonna be taking my Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder and putting that where that bad boy belongs. 
crazy how when I put this, I see all my hairs on my face. So annoying. And I don't know where I got this brush, but this is my all-time favorite brush ever. And I'm just going to wipe that all off. And just uh, put it all over my face, to be honest. That's what I always do. Okay, so for the finishing touches, I'm going to put mascara on my bottom lashes. I have to add highlight and some lipstick. Okay, so that's done, and for my favorite highlight of all time, I'm going to be using this NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. And I'm going to be placing that where, whoa, well, I put too much, but who cares. I'm going to be placing that here. I put too much again. Here. On top of my lip, at the tip of my nose, a little bit down the bridge. A little bit on my chin and a little bit on my forehead that's how I'm feeling right now okay this one is Sunbeam um, it's very pink so it went perfectly with the shade that I have right here and also my dress it went very well with my dress so okay so now that I have my highlight I'm gonna be using the lipstick that I used on my birthday which was this Smashbox lipstick in the color Be Legendary. I didn't even put lip liner, honestly. Um, I didn't have one. And the thing that sucks is that I left the lipstick at home, so I couldn't even reapply it for pictures. So I was wearing this jacket that I love, 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 love. And I got it from Zara for around like $150. And I think that was on sale. It was on sale for $150. I don't know what the original price is. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to comment below what you would like to see. Would you? Would you would like to see? What you would like to see in my next video. And I love you guys. And I'll be back with more. Everything is okay right here